hello everyone and a welcome to a brand new series and in this series we're going to be having our first look at foundry foundry is a game where we will dive into infinite possibilities so join me as we build epic factories in the sky underground and everywhere in between in this expansive voxel universe we'll automate complex production lines unlock cotton edge technology and optimize everything to perfection explore new terrains unleash your creativity and watch as our industrial dreams come to life. So without further ado, let's get crafting in the ultimate factory building adventure of Foundry. So welcome everyone to this lovely looking alien planet where we are here in Foundry. So I've gone through the basic first little steps and now what we need to do is as you can see in the tasks we need to mine some xenoferrite and some technum as well. So we can get our scanner out here and we can scan and we've got some xenoferrite over here and we have some technum there which is absolutely perfect. So we're going to get our mining drill and we're going to go ahead and drill all of these. Now this game has just been released on early access on Steam. Um, I, I did play this game a little bit in the beta over on HIO and I did thoroughly enjoy the game um, but I wanted to wait until it was a bit more stable and available on Steam on early access. I have got a couple of old videos on this game if you feel free to check them out I'll leave the links down in the description but if not welcome to the series where we're going to be starting a brand new game and we're going to delve into the wonderful world of a factory building. As far as I remember and as far as I've read this game is all about automation now that might be conflicting to what i'm actually doing now which is a bit of manual mining but we're just going to get our first little bit of resources to make everything automated and then we're going to end up building the perfect factory in this series now that we have our xenoferrite we're going to head over here and we're going to mine our technum now just a little tip if you are starting off on this game as well you don't really want to worry about mining this sort of underground area or this sort of level because as you can see with one of these nodes that are popping up we will get around about 25 maybe a little bit less on these lower ones let's see how much we get from this one so we can get 12 from that one but if we end up trying to mine this little bit here we will only get two technum ore so it's not really worth doing that so you just want to focus on getting rid of the ore nodes that are sticking up first and then worry about the rest right. of it when you get all now automated Okay, so with all the technum collected as well as the xenoferrite, we have to head back to our little pod where we've got two little smelters here all ready for us. One for the xenoferrite and one for the technum. So we're going to insert all of our technum ore into that one. We can store 200 in this at the moment. So we're just going to get them going, wait some time, and we're going to end up making some xenoferrite plates and some technum rods, which are going to be the first components we need to start making everything automated. Okay, so we'll grab, grab the plates and the rods that have been smelted already, and we'll, we'll just we wait for the rest of it to do. Available. We should start crafting building blocks, which act as a foundation for other buildings. So as some of you may notice, the narrator is actually an AI voice. Now they have put a disclaimer in, and I think it's kind of cool because the character that the narration is of is actually an AI robot. So for the developers to use AI for the narration is is pretty cool because it kind of it fits. So let's go ahead and we're going to now go into the crafting menu. So one thing I do love about the crafting aspect of this game is, for instance, we go into components here and we go into electrical components, which we do need for say for instance the mining drill it does require us to have wire coils which are just here now we could craft the wire coils like this or we could just click onto this and it will automatically craft the wire coils for us as long as we have uh, the correct resources for it so that's something i really love about this game but to start with what we're going to be doing is crafting 30 building blocks and then we need to place 30 building blocks as a foundation next to an ore deposit so what we're going to do is we're going to end up right clicking this one which will craft us as many as we can so if you right click in the build menu it will basically use all your available resources to build as many as you can so basically what we want to do is we kind of want to link these two ore veins together um, in my last sort of original playthrough of it these were quite far apart so we have come across quite lucky here so let's go ahead and start building our building blocks now so what i'm probably going to do is probably end up going sort of this direction so we kind of want to 
just expand out a little bit because we want to cover as much as possible. So we're probably going to be building our first automated mining section just here. So from there, we kind of want to link all the way over to there. So it's going to be a little bit awkward because it's not in a straight line, which is a little bit annoying, but it's not too much of an issue. In fact, what we are going to do is we're going to craft a few more because we are going to need a lot of building blocks. Okay, so after I've got a few more resources smelted, we have finally linked the two together. Now, the main reason why you want to link the two together is because of power. So power is basically transferred through foundations. So that's why we kind of want to link the two together so we can just have one power network and that will basically link its power from one ore base and then the other ore base. So now what we need to do is craft a drone miner and we need to place one of those down. We're basically going to craft two of these drone miners because we want one for each of the ore veins that we have found. So let's go ahead in our crafter menu and we can craft two of these drone miners now. So we'll craft two of those because we definitely want two and then one they are built. So as you can see it is automatically crafting the necessary parts that we need for them because we have all the resources. So we've just got to wait a little while and they will would have finished crafting so we will drop them in our hotbar just for ease of access for building and we're going to place one just here so we're going to place one here so once we place a miner here what i'll probably do to reach this section over here is probably just expand this a little bit and i'll probably build another one over there at a later date but what we're going to do for now is we're going to place our other miner down here and then we're going to go into the aspect of building power so we're going to go ahead and drop this down first of all we'll rotate that so it's nicely over here and we're just going to pop that there so that's perfect so now as you can see we have no power so what we're going to do is we're going to grab our drill and we just want to drill the plants for biomass and then we can go ahead and craft a biomass burner so i've just expanded the foundation a little bit ready for a biomass burner so let's craft one of those and get some biomass into it and start producing ourselves some power so the biomass burner is built we'll shove that in our hotbar just to make things a little bit easier and what we're going to do is just plonk it here for now so as you can see all of our foundations are connected so the power should transfer through so what we're going to do is just uh, dump it all in there your first automated ore. aren't they beautiful so the biomass burner will only hold 99 fuel but as you can see we've got a current output of 50 kilowatts or should we say 200 kilowatts so as you can see our power output is fluctuating but we've got plenty here anyway it does burn biomass quite quickly but that's not to worry it's only temporary we have got some extras and now we can head over here and we can look at our little mining drones go ahead and mine all of our ore so as you can see they will just mine the ore just like this and store it into here so already we have 32 but now we need to craft a smelter so to craft a smelter looks like we need some more xenophora plates and machinery parts so we're going to go ahead and harvest them so we'll just take these just like that and then we'll head over to the xenoferrite and we'll harvest that lot as well so something i'm definitely looking forward to is conveyor belt system because then we can link these up here um into a smelter so what i might do is try and figure out where i want my smelter to start with i'm probably going to have it over here to be honest with you that looks like it's going to be pretty much in the middle so i'm going to clean some room and we're going to need some more foundations as well so we'll just leave the miners going for a bit and then we'll go ahead and stock up on some xenophora plates and tenon rods and we'll get a nice foundation built ready for our smelter so you may notice something a little different i've um yeah built quite a few foundations it took me a little while but we are pretty much all ready although we only need to place one smelter i'm going to craft another one because each smelter will be needed for each type of ore so while the other one's crafting we will get this one built over here we're just going to put it in line with our little miners we're just going to pop it here for now just to give us a little bit more room so next we're going to place another one just over here and now we have the task of crafting two loaders and 20 conveyors we're probably going to need a few more than two loaders and 20 conveyors so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to craft those so we're going to want two on this one and two here and then we're going to need another four over there as well so we're going to craft eight of these all together so that's eight of them are crafting and uh, we probably will need some more uh, resources which i've got some smelting over here so we're just going to grab these and then we're going to get our conveyor belts done as well so we're probably going to need 
probably 20 I think to do these two lines if my math serves me correctly and then we're probably going to need the same over here as well yep 40 should be enough and then we need a couple of these slope ones as well so let's go ahead and craft 20 of the conveyor belts and the loaders as well and then what we're going to do is we're going to pop these in our hotbar just so we can access them easily so next we're going to get to our loaders all sorted so we're going to pop these two just over here and we're going to pop these ones over here now we are required to build two more smelters as well so we will probably go ahead and do that and what i'll probably do is exit them over this way and then i'll probably build a smelter next to it here so we can go ahead and double our production but i'm not too sure where i want to put any other smelter yet i kind of don't want to obscure two loading bays so we're going to head over here and we're going to get our loaders set up over here now the one thing i do like is when you put a loader onto an output it does automatically make it an output so that's quite handy just going to rotate this conveyor belt we're going to pop that one there so now if we have a look over here it's automatically distributing our ore straight from here and our miners will keep working this only has a capacity of 200 so we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up our smelter which has automatically set up and it's automatically producing content over here now what we're going to do is go and set up the other side get the conveyor belt set up there and then we should be ready to rock and roll so we're going to get a upstream loader here or conveyor belt just there and then we're just going to connect these up and then we're just going to pop them this way and that will make sure that this input is automatically distinguish and we've got technum ore going into technum rods so perfect so now we need two more smelters so i'm not exactly sure i might go sort of this way um and kind of spread this out a little bit just so i can fit a couple of loaders in we are going to need two more smelters so we'll get them crafting we'll go and pick up these other resources and then we'll figure out where we're going to put the other smelters uh, we haven't got many resources but that shouldn't be a problem now we've got smelting automated we should be good to go we will select our smelter here we'll put the panel at the same side so we know the loaders take up two blocks so we want at least that space there so i'm going to go ahead and pop that one there uh, we are going to need some more loaders and everything like that so let's figure out where we're going to put this smelter over here as well so this smelter i'm going to place just here i'm going to expand the foundation here so we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some more ore from our smelters and we're going to get these smelters as well loaded up and ready in production because we're going to need as many resources as possible so we're going to grab these okay so we've got our second smelters all set up as you can see here I uh, just grabbed some resources I just noticed on my way past that we are at near enough a max capacity on our bow mass burner and we need to stock this one up so we'll stock this one up and I think it's time we built another one just to make sure that we have enough power to keep our factory going so that should be built any second now and then we can just place this one right next to it we can fill this one up with biomass and there we go we have a little bit less fuel usage on each of them because we're kind of spreading the power across both of them so that's pretty good and next we need to place a research center so let's go ahead and see what we can find on research server so looks like we need oh we have enough resources to craft it at the moment so we can craft that and then we just need to figure out where we want to put it now i'm thinking about putting it over here sort of in the middle um out the way but still within access of our smelters because for the research center what we're going to be needing is plenty of resources and automation so we're gonna probably end up having assemblers and bits and pieces as well which we kind of want this middle bit for for now so probably gonna get some foundations built expand this sort of fill this nice big gap here which might take a little while to gather the resources but that's not an issue and then we'll go ahead and get to our research center place down and we'll see what we need for that so there we go our foundations are all complete so let's go ahead and get our research server down and into place so i think what's probably going to be best is to place it sort of in the middle of the two hence why i built this so sort of big in regards to the foundation so i think we're going to pop that to just there research. okay so now we have to have a look at this so we're going to go to the research interface and as we can see here we have a nice big research tree and it looks like there's plenty to research so it looks like we've got our work cut out with this lot over here but first of all we need to research the emergency beacon 
which requires three science packs so we can craft them manually by hand so we're going to go ahead and do that first we will need some more resources so we're just going to go to the smelters we're going to grab ourselves some resources and hopefully we should have enough to grab them so we need three of those at the moment we'll just do five um just because it's easier to right click and just do a nice round number of five all right we have our three science packs crafted so we just pop them in there like that we're going to go ahead and go to our research interface and we're going to start the research on the emergency beacon so that shouldn't take too long it looks like our progression bar is going up quite quickly it takes about 15 seconds so that shouldn't be too bad and then we will unlock access to the assembler and also character improvement so it looks like we've got a new resource over here which is ignium and we've got a second lane loader okay so i did did like them when i played it beforehand got it so looks like we've research now, is complete beacon blueprint those rescue parties tend to land right on top of the beacons Okay, so it looks like we need to find a nice open area to place our beacon. Uh, we could place it just over here for now. But what I might do is just build a little landing pod, which I might just do over here out the way. So let's just expand this a little bit. Uh, that should be perfectly fine. And um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to craft ourselves a research beacon or emergency beacon sorry so we'll get that crafted and then we'll place that in our hot bar as well and we're going to place our beacon just there nice in the middle so it looks like now um as part of our mission we need to send an emergency signal so let's go ahead Great. and hopefully i hope we'll be on our way because we have lost all communication to the command center so oh what was that this corporate command companion bureaucrat bot, C3BB for short, will help us establish a connection with Mission Command. First, let's help him out of that drop pod by deconstructing and placing it in a safe location. So, looks like we need to um, give our little bot a helping hand. Um, we're just going to grab this scrap, actually. We'll get some resources back. Let's go ahead and deconstruct this pod. Um, once I figure out how we need to deconstruct this pod. Oh, hi there. That's a three C3 BB. So, let's go ahead and figure out how to deconstruct this, I guess. So, what I do like is we can press F2 and that will give us a dismantling. So, enter demolition mode default key f so we do have a, a whole help database which is really good to know so we're going to go ahead and demolish this and there we go okay so now we need to place him so where are we going to basically put the hub that is the very good question i think we should just place it right here next to our landing location seems like that's going to be a good place as any so let's go ahead and we're gonna pop him we'll pop him just here that seems like a good place for me we have activated this emergency beacon because we are having trouble communicating with Mission Command. Beep up. Critical damage on the Mission Command space station, you say? What now? Are we trapped here? Okay, so this is a whole lot different to what I am used to. This is all new in early access. So I'm definitely excited to follow this story through. So, research assembler. Okay, so pet. And we can chat with him. Not that chatting does much because... Um, it doesn't speak any language apart from Indeed, I do electronic. It looks like it's some sort of um, robotic dog, maybe. Uh, research assembler. Okay. Okay, so it looks like we need to research the assembler now. So let's have a look and see what we need for this. So we need five science packs to research the assembler. So let's see how many we have. We have two at the moment. Let's go ahead and research some more of them. We'll just research another five. And then we'll get an assembler placed down. So it looks like from our plates we can do an assembler into machine parts we can link that to another assembler with technum rods into it and we can do the science pack and we should be able to just go straight into the research center let's have a look and see what else we need from here so so it looks like we need quite a few of the tier one science packs so i definitely think it's definitely worthwhile to automate that so it looks like we're going to need to craft a few of these assemblers uh, we do need to just deposit these and we need to research the assembler first of all so that should take a little bit of time we're going to go ahead and grab some resources and we're going to get in preparation with some conveyor belts and some loaders and we're going to start making everything more automated i think what we're going to need is a few of the loaders so we're going to go ahead and craft a few of these i think to be honest 10 should be good for now um and then what we're probably going to need is 
is quite a few of the conveyor belts if i'm completely honest with you um task complete so let's visit c3bb and we're gonna turn in the research assembler see if we get any rewards for this maybe Great. Okay, so one thing I do like about this game, although it is a sandbox game and you're kind of left to your own devices to do what you wish, it has got a little um, sort of guideline with some goals that it basically forces you to aim to complete, which I really do, really do like. So let's go ahead and now our assemblers should be all researched. They are. So let's go ahead and craft a couple of those. So let's go ahead and head into our inventory once our assembler is done, which it is. So that's perfect. And let's go ahead and craft our first assembler. So I think what we'll do is we'll put the first assembler over here. We'll place the first one there. And then I think what we'll do is we'll place the second one here. I like the idea of having a bit of perfection. So I think there should be pretty good. That's pretty spaced out just in case we need to build around them. And we're just going to expand our foundations here. So next we need to sort out our loaders. So we're going to go straight from here into this one over here. And we're going to go from here and we are. And then we'll go for the end one in here. And I think we'll just go straight to this first one. I think will be a good option. Now let's go ahead and sort our conveyor belts out. We drag this one over here, orientate this to that one. Then we need to go from here to here. We're going to make this one the machine parts. Grab our conveyor belts again, and we're going to go straight into here. Okay, so we need to change this one to output. There we go. So we have our plates going into this one, which will make machinery parts, and that will in turn go into this one which is good and then somehow we need to figure out how we want to do this so let's go ahead and put our loader uh just over here and then we're going to go ahead and place our belts however we want them so we need to go from there and then we need to go all the way down here it is probably going to be a little bit messy to start with but we're going to definitely be keeping an eye on it and making sure it looks all nice and tidy so there goes our rods straight into here so now if we have a look we should have yes we have machinery parts going in and we should have the technum rods going in any second once they get down at the end of the conveyor belt line and that should make science packs which will then automatically go into here so let's figure out what we want to go for next i think what we should do is go so i think we should do a uh, character improvement first we get plus five inventory slots and then we can do drill speed for the biomass um come to think of it we probably want to check on that we're probably running a little bit low on the biomass we'll just do these two and then we can probably go ahead and start researching the others there's only a couple in this side of the tree for the tier one science packs so i think we should definitely go for that first and we'll go ahead and get that done so let's go ahead and see how our production of our science packs are doing it is a little bit slow and um, we probably are running out of power to be honest uh yep we have completely run out of power so it looks like i'll probably have to build myself another biomass burner um and we're probably also gonna have to go ahead and get some biomass as well because we are on quite a little bit of um output here so it is strained it is warning us it's very strained so i think after i've gathered some biomass we'll probably have a look and um see how we get a better more sustainable um power upgrade because keep having to go and gather biomass is a little bit frustrating okay so we have some more biomass so let's just get these full um looks like we are doing pretty well on output so we don't need another biomass burner just yet let's have a look at the research and see what we can do um in regards to power um lights would be nice actually so we can kind of see what we're doing Oh, burner generator. Okay, there we go. And maybe we do want to aim for this um, burner generator. The burner generator can burn biomass, and I guess probably more efficient than the little biomass burner we have now. Um, but it's also advised to automate the process by using igneum ore mined by the drone. So we do have access to the ore scanner just over here. So I think we should aim for the burner generator, get power automated. I think that's definitely the way forward. So let's go ahead and see what we can do about this. We'll get that researched. But it looks like we are running a little bit slow on production of these. It doesn't are oh, do you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to change this to an output. So there we go. We've changed that to an output now. So now it should be distributing these into the research center. So that's pretty good. I like where we're going so far. So we're going to wait for this basic infrastructure. 
to um, burn down. Uh, hopefully it shouldn't take too long to get some science packs. We do need 20 for the burner generator. So that might take a little bit of time, but I'm not too worried at the moment. So let's see what we have here. Container can't be automated with loaders or unloaders. Um, okay, that's a little bit of a shame. So let's go ahead and see what else we have in the basic infrastructure. So we do have a logistic container. Um, let's see where the first version of that is. Uh, we've got basic infrastructure over here. It uh, looks like we've got logistic container too. So yeah, we've quite a way off that. So yeah, I think our main focus should be the burn generator. So we're going to do the ore scanner straight after. That's 15 science packs. So looks like we're going to um, be waiting a little while for this. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. But for you guys, you know what we can do? We can just, uh, you know, click our fingers and snap and we'll be there. So it looks like C3BB has given us another task. Expand our smelters. So we need to build 16 small smelters, apparently eight for each ore. Looks like we're going to have to uh, expand quite a bit because, I mean, they are right in a sense. Our our drone miner is at max capacity and our smelters aren't going that quickly. I mean, we've got 56 plates, it can hold 200. So every three seconds it creates one. So maybe it is worth doing that. But looks like I'm going to have to build some more foundations before we can go ahead and do that. So while we're here, we will start the research on the Ignium and we'll get that research. We can start finding out where that is. I'm going to clear some area and I'm going to start building some more smelters. Okay, so let's go and have a look and see what kind of research we have. I have or not the research for the Ignium. So we're going to go ahead and find out where that is. Um, but we do have enough science packs for the burner generator. So we're going to get that research in and then we're going to open up our scanner and we're just going to scan. We're going to see where our Ignium is located. So, oh, even better. Just is that underground? Maybe looks like that might be underground. Let's see if there's any anywhere else. We've got Tetanum over there. We know about that one. And we've got a Xenophil right here. So looks like we've got some Ignum ore over here. So let's go ahead and find out where this is located. Um, hopefully it's just here. Maybe uh, looks like I've overshot it. Have I? Oh, there it is right below us. So it looks like it's time to do some mining to find this Ignium because we do need to automate this um, so we can get our our power up and running a bit more sustainable way than it is already. So it looks like it is nearby here. Hopefully it's not too far down. Okay, so there we go. It seems that I have found where it is. It's not too far down. So that is a bonus. We're just going to clear some of this out of the way just so we can get some miners down here. It looks like we've got quite a big patch down here so it looks like i'm going to clear it out and we'll have a look and see how big this little ore vein is so it looks like we kind of hit the jackpot of our location we are you know pretty close to pretty much everything so what i might do is to try and sort of shorten the distance completely is kind of expand out here with a little two, two wide path straight down here build a platform just here and then we'll just have our miners mining this part over here. Okay, so we have a little platform built just over there. Um, I've just crafted a miner to get that automated and I noticed that we run out of power. So definitely, definitely want to get this automated as quick as we can. Our burner generator is researching. It's near enough at 50%, so hopefully that shouldn't be too long. And now what we're going to do is just place our panel here. That should cover all the blocks, which is perfect. Got a little bit of space for our loaders and our burner generator so what we're going to do is we're going to uh what we're going to do is we're going to put one here for now and we're probably going to put one there and i need to craft a couple more of the loaders we should have enough conveyor belts for this so we'll get another two of these loaders crafted for our generators um probably going to have to expand this out a little bit um we'll go for that both sides that should give us enough room for the burner generator which is nearly in completion so that's good so while i was waiting for the burner generator to finish research and i kind of i had a thought with the amount that this is actually burning and exiting i probably don't need all of this space to utilize every single loading door on the smelter so i probably might just move them together just a little bit so it's not so spaced out just so i can organize my conveyor belts a little bit more you know keeping everything tidy i'll probably do it in between episodes just so things aren't too boring for everyone but the burner generator is nearly finished completing its research um we are pretty much stocking up on the ignium so that's good um but it looks like we are out of a biomass in our inventory so just in time the burner generator is ready and researched so we can go ahead and we can build that now 
So let's go ahead and see what we need. It's time to upgrade to the burner generator and dig up Ignium ore for automated power production. Let's power up our future. Uh, well, we're ahead of you. We are future plan this. So what I might do is we have got enough resources for five of these. So what I'm probably going to do is do two just for future, you know. So the max power generation for the biomass burners is only 600 kilowatts, but it's 1.8 megawatts for burner generator. So if I future plan, I can probably get two of these. Um, we have got access to logistics containers as well. So that might be something to look towards as well. Um, but let's go ahead and craft two of those burner generators. So we'll go ahead and get four of those loaders as well. For this side and one for here as well. So that'll be good. So we can get them to set up right there. And we'll get that one set up as well. And we can just get the conveyor belt straight into the biomass burners so let's go ahead and get our burner generators we'll get them built while the loaders are doing what they need to do um so yeah we're gonna they are quite big actually so we'll put one here and we'll put one just there and then looks like we can just do our loaders straight into here which is nice and simple so we'll get them to there and we'll get them to there and now what we'll do is making this nice and compact we will just go straight into this one and then what we want to do is go straight into this one rotate that round into that one and then we are going to go straight from this one into that one and there we go we have now got power generating which is good um, we should be stocking these up pretty well input here so it only takes three at a time interesting or it would have held more but let's just double check um it is intaking correctly yes it is so yep i think this is should be a perfectly fine setup for now and uh, we're hardly using any of the power that they can produce so we're doing well in that retrospect let's head over to the research station and see what we're going for next so what we have done is gone straight for science pack two we could get that done but what i want to do is get these done i want to kind of get everything in tier one all sorted first and then we will progress to the science pack two so walkways and door double doors they all take a tier two two science packs so let's go ahead and get all of these done and then we should be well on our way uh definitely get some lights light up the situation and second loaders these are pretty cool as well um, especially when you're doing some more extensive stuff so i think what we'll do is we'll get all of these researched ready for the next episode and i think that's probably going to be it for this episode we've had quite a lot of progression we've got science packs automated we've got a nice conveyor belt full over here we have our two ores in production um let's see what tasks we have before we disappear we got yep research science pack two which will we'll do that in short enough time and expand the smelters as well what we're going to be doing in the next episode is probably getting the research of science pack two um in between episodes i'll get all of these researched and i'll make everything look a bit nicer so that is the first look at foundry so far i'm absolutely loving this game i love the aspect of just a sandbox game you can do what you want and i love factory building so hopefully you are too make sure you hit that like button Make sure you subscribe as well for more Foundry content. As I said, I'm going to have plenty of guide videos as well for you guys. So make sure you stick around for them. It's been Kryptonite here. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.